everyone and uh, welcome to the 10th day of November 2010 and uh, I'm here in uh, I think it's Sydney Australia I uh, found a nice little spot it's uh, a very quiet little part of Sydney and uh, largely unheard of and I'm just here uh, to do a bit of promotion for our uh, Earth School and Star Show at Earth Sanctuary and uh, it's a nice contrast from the red sandy desert, the blue skies and the open horizons and uh, now to be bundled up in the big smoke of, uh, of Sydney CBD. It's, uh, it's a fairly overcast day, the boats are out, the tourists are clicking their cameras and uh, I'm due for a plane to get back to the, uh, the real big smoke, that's Central Australia, in the next hour or so. So I thought I'd come and check out the, uh, the unpopular sites. Hope you guys are well and uh, this is another transmission for Federation TV and Project Blue Star. The countdown to, what's the opposite word of extinction? That's 2012, we'll see you guys soon. Now getting back to the big bad city is always an eye opener. With nearly 6.7 billion people on the planet, with more than 30 million species, the consumption rates around the world, particularly in the west, is at a staggering proportion. Oops. Uh, g'day everybody. It's a uh, beautiful Saturday here at Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre in Central Australia. We've had a, uh, another day at um, putting uh, together our LifePod um, project and uh, that entails obviously getting our uh, platforms up and ready and uh, in the back there you can see um, the work uh, the boys and I have been uh, putting together there in relation to the platforms on the, uh, on the LifePods and uh, they're going quite well at the moment. I'm going to turn this camera around so you can get a, a good look. Oh, where's that guy there? Oh, you can't turn him around. And... Let me fight. Hey guys, uh, we're here at Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre in Alice Springs and as you can see behind me the development of the life pods uh, is continuing which is a great sign for the, uh, for the future. These life pods have been designed to the best of our ability to try and um, uh, provide uh, security for, uh, for the next generation uh, in relation to um, the climatic changes that are occurring around the planet. As you can see the platforms are beginning. Uh, they'll be finished very shortly and uh, then our life pods, our geodesics can uh, jump on top of them and we can start experimenting a little bit more with uh, the different galvanised panelling and, uh, and just your basic um, shading using PVC and, and assortment of materials. But uh, she's going quite well. Obviously this is a, uh, a project which is uh, designed to be uh, non-permanent. It needs to be mobile. It needs to be uh, uh, designed uh, and built so non-skilled labourers can put it up. And, uh, and that's obviously incredibly important, so uh, uh, it can uh, put a little bit more confidence back in the, into the builder out there, and so you can start uh, putting up your own shelter. We're trying to make the, uh, the cost of this as low as possible. Uh, we're aiming for about 15% of traditional housing, so if we can get it to that kind of uh, um, cost structure, we reckon that'd be wonderful for uh, not just the locals, but for anyone around Australia, and uh, of course anywhere around the world. It's a beautiful uh, backdrop here, as you can see the Eastern McDonnell Range is there and uh, Joey's welding the, uh, the legs to the beams at the moment. Once the beams are up we'll put the joists, once the joists are up we'll put up our beautiful magnesium oxide boarding known as Superboard and uh, once we secure the boarding there then, uh, then the GD6 will be secured to the actual platform and uh, once that has occurred then we'll look at the panelling systems and uh, we'll see how we go. We're trying to work as quickly as we possibly can and as I said uh, we just really need to uh, experiment as much as we can uh, climate change isn't stopping for anyone around the planet obviously so uh, this environment here is just a perfect spot to, uh, to test it because of the extreme conditions. We're about to head into summer, we're out here under the sun, we'll be uh, topping probably about 55 degrees and uh, during our winter periods we get down as low as minus 10 so it's a, it's a perfect environment to test our infrastructure so hopefully wherever, wherever we ship these life pods uh, it'll be suitable wherever that may be. Anyway guys, thanks for joining us, we'll see you shortly.
G'day superstars, it's November 24, 2010 and we're just uh, still completing the uh, the first of our major platforms for the GD6 life pods. You can hear Tommy with the grinder behind us and uh, Joey's just uh, finishing off some of the um, uh, the joists there on the beams. I'm going to turn this around so you can so you can have a bit of a look. It's all going really well, new duty. Yeah, g'day guys, it's uh, pretty warm out here at the moment. I'm in uh, Central Australia, Alice Springs at uh, Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre. And as you can see, uh, hopefully behind me, we're just finishing off one of the first platforms for the, uh, the LifePod Geodesic Climate Change Village Domes. Um, there's uh, quite a few um, uh, wells to do, as you can see, and uh, obviously quite a few joists to align on top of all the, uh, the beams and the legs down there. So it's been a wonderful, uh, project getting to this stage, 10 years in the making. The next stage is obviously sticking the life pods up and putting some shade over the GD6 and we'll see how we go. Anyway, uh, I'm at a Sanctuary World Nature Centre, Project Blue Star. Onwards and upwards, you beauty. Getting back to Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre, we go to our tours, programs and special events promoting sustainability to the world, trying to motivate young people and those of all ages to reduce their impact on the planet and make a real difference before we hit the 2012 deadline. Reality TV has just got real. Welcome to the Galactic Federation. Seven women from the stars come riding into town. Can't you hear that whistle blowing, boy? I'm Federation.